So the first um, thing I think I would tell someone who's diagnosed with NETS is to take a deep breath, try not to uh, stress too much about it. I know that a cancer diagnosis is incredibly fearful, uh, it's a very scary thing and a diagnosis with NETS is even more scary because it's a relatively unknown form of cancer so not many people know much about it. So a uh, second thing I think would be to inform yourself, knowledge is power. So learn as much as you can about uh, the type of NETS that you have. NETS is a very complex type of cancer. Uh, there's m many different forms of it. So learn about the type that you have and try to, through reliable sources, uh, learn about uh, the disease. Uh, connect with doctors, physicians, have a team that know about neuroendocrine cancer. That's really important. Uh, because it is such an unusual type of cancer, the expertise um, that NET teams have is critically important for you. And you know, once you're informed and you're connected with the right team, I think that um, you should not be afraid to advocate for yourself and you should be in a pretty good position to do that if you've you know, empowered yourself with a lot of knowledge and connected with the right physicians. Um, I think the best thing that you can do is again uh, empower yourself with some knowledge, uh, get to know other um, families and friends, uh, other patients, uh, connect with, with other people who have uh, experienced, have some experience in this journey, uh, whether it's through the hospitals uh, that you work with, through charities that offer the services. Uh, it's really important, I think, to, to know that you're not alone and that there's other people that have walked this journey and have been in your shoes, uh, so you can really learn a lot from them and, and connect with them. One thing that I know now is that a lot of people live with neuroendocrine cancer for a very long pe period of time which I didn't realize when I was first diagnosed. Again, it's a fear situation, you know, when you're first diagnosed with cancer. And like many neuroendocrine patients, I wasn't provided with a lot of information about my cancer. So that left me to my own devices, and I turned to the World Wide Web, and it was a big, scary place. Uh, what really changed things for me was the first time that I connected with other patients um, at a, a patient support group meeting and I was shocked to learn how many people were living such a long period of time and they weren't just surviving with NETS, they were thriving. And that was a life-changing experience for me. So I wish I'd known a little bit earlier in the journey uh, because it took me a while to actually get myself out to a support meeting to meet other people. And so I think I, I would have liked to have known a little bit earlier that it wasn't a, a dire situation uh, had I been provided with more information up front. I, I think I would have gotten there a lot faster. The most helpful resources have been the patient education events that I've attended, um, the resources that are available online, particularly from very reliable sources, so I think that's really important. Um, I find the reliable sources are the hospitals, uh, the reference libraries in the hospitals are very good. Uh, some of the charities, worldwide charities, uh, have their own resources. Uh, the CNS Canada Net Reference Guide, of course, and um, a lot of videos online. So a lot of the uh, international charities hold patient events and conferences and they actually record them and they keep them on their websites. So that also is a really great resource uh, to hear directly from the physicians who are treating neuroendocrine patients.